In this video I'm going to show you how I've made our Vitifigo fridge a lot quieter and a lot more efficient. Okay, so this video will go through the changes we made to the installation of the Vitifigo fridge. In itself, there's nothing wrong with this fridge. It's a C60i, 60 litre fridge, uh, pretty well insulated and it has a very good freezer compartment with a nice thick insulated door. The problems we had with it were when it was really hot, the fridge wasn't that efficient. The ice creams weren't solid and the compressor ran far too long, maybe for about 30 minutes before cutting out for about 20 minutes. So it used a bit more power than we expected. The fridge is a compressor type, so the same style you have at home, where there's a compressor in the back that gets hot, and then you have a heat exchanger to blow the warm air away. The problem we had was the insulation we did wasn't that efficient. The, we weren't getting the air away as efficiently as possible. So some quick changes, um, we've, we've modified it, and now the fridge runs a lot quieter, uh, a lot less power, maybe five minutes on, 10 minutes off that sort of um, timeline and the ice creams are a lot colder and the beers come out with condensation on so absolutely perfect so I'll just go through the changes we made and hopefully you can get some ideas from that so we've made some slight modifications um, added insulation to the top and sides uh, just using what we had left over and, and underneath and also on the back and the top of the um, uh, cooling compartment because basically this gets hot and then you're just trying to insulate the heat from the uh, compressor and the heat exchanger going up into the fridge. I've cut a hole here in the base and I've also changed the fan to a um, much higher volume fan and uh, it's quiet. Um, normally the airflow goes from right to left um, but in my layout um, I've decided that actually it's going to be better going from left to right. So what's going to happen this air is going to be um, sucked up through here, sucked through here, blown through the fan and then extracted here. So the base of the fridge, um, this is our um, 240 volt heating system, but basically these are just open vents so the airflow can be uh, out of here quite easily. So this generally in the, in the heat, the habitation air is going to be the coolest part, uh, especially the floor. So we thought, well, why not use that air? So we stuck a fan in here, and it'll actually suck air through um, the bottom of the fridge, and it'll go through the hole in the bottom of the fridge, and then get through and extract it out the back. And that'll be on a thermostatic fan that I'll show you once it's all installed. So this is the back of the fridge. Uh, that's the vent in the floor, which is gonna suck air out from the inside of the van. So the air will be sucked out through here, and then there's the compressor and there's the fan on the heat exchanger that will blow the air through. The back of the fridge is now insulated. Um, this is just a buffer, so when the cover goes on, it'll be compressed in um, and uh, basically make it so the air can only go sort of one way. So here's the back. Um, and we can see we've got a big 140 mil silent fan, um, which will suck air out from the hot side of the heat exchanger and blow it out. Um, this fan and the one underneath work in a, in, a, in, in a pair on its own sort of thermostat here. So it's currently 21.4, um, but uh, when, well, when it obviously gets warmer, um, that'll cut in when needed and uh, force the air to transfer. And if I uh, just set the temperature down to something a bit more, 18.8. So you can see this is now blowing um, air out at a uh, nice rate of knots and that will be pulling air in from underneath the van which is the cool spot and instantly we can see the temperatures dropping uh, which is quite nice, um, proves it, it works and uh, yes, yeah, pulling air in from the inside of the van. Now previously I did have a fan here as you might have seen on the version 1 of the back but I never really took into account the airflow uh, from the fridge and where the cool air is going to be coming from. So this way, um, put a bit more thought into it 
um, and it really is going to be a lot more efficient. Um, but that should be it. 